Hello Collective, how's it going? Hope you're doing really well. My name is Diane, for those of you that don't know me, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're going to do a little cheeky general collective message for the end of April, beginning of May. But you know, it's a timeless message. So, you know, whenever you find it. Um, you're very, very welcome here, Collective. Thank you for, you know, clicking on the video and checking out the reading. I appreciate it a lot. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that a lot as well. Okay. So, what is going on for the Collective? Oh, the sun. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so good things are happening when you have the sun. This talks about, you know, coming in out of the cold. It talks about abundance, commitment, being happy. That's a good card to start with. I feel like that comes out a lot. I like it. <laughs> um, you have caring connections here. Okay, so there's some kind of caring connection or connections. Because, you know, these are not love readings, so this could be like a friendship or, you know, making up with your family or something like that. Um, but, you know, if you're looking for love, it could be love also. You do have the door to romance peeking out here. So there's um, some kind of canary, uh, canary, <laughs> caring connection that wants to come in here um, that's going to make you very happy. You also have attachment. So... She focused. Yes. Okay. So in this card, you can see she's chained up and she's also taking off a mask. So there's some change coming in to like prepare you for this. You may be getting rid of things that have been keeping you chained up as it were, or keeping you stuck. What else for the collective? Okay. Okay, what else for the collective? Okay. You have the Ten of Pentacles. The Star. And the Four of Wands. Okay. Well, that's very clear. So there's some kind of caring connection coming in here that's like going to make you very happy. Um, and it's committed. You know, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. This is long term, very long term marriage, moving in together. The star is wish fulfillment. It's hope, renewed hope, like some kind of connection coming in that makes you feel happy makes you you know gives you hope for the future makes you feel all clean and sparkly and new again um, and also is very healing the star okay what else for the collective the three of pentacles um there's also going to be like abundance coming in that's a lot Hold on, let me reshuffle that. Um, when you have the sun and the three of pentacles, there's going to be some kind of abundance coming in from uh, something stable that you're doing in work. It could be your own business if you own your own business, but it could be a group effort, something that you're doing in a group. Um, it could also be, you know, if that doesn't, you know, ring true for you, this could be some kind of group that you're going to join that's going to make you happy if you've been thinking about joining some kind of group. Alright, tell me about this, uh, well, what else for the collective? The chariot. The seven of cups with attachment. <laughs> I'm going to reshuffle that one because I want to talk about these. So. The caring connections with the chariot. This is, um, it's going to be a very uh, successful connection. You know, there's no other way to put that. <laughs> um, 
it could be someone that you meet through your work or through some kind of community project or something or a group that you join but there's something holding you back and with the seven of cups you know it's like it seems too good to be true or this is someone new so you have the ace of cups in the middle you can see it's covered over so this person is a bit of an unknown quantity and you've been burned in the past you know some of those cups have like snakes and dragons and shit like that in them so there's a little bit here of like eh, yeah i'm gonna hold myself back there's it's almost like um I don't want to say wearing a mask, but certainly holding yourself back. I think there's things that you're releasing so that you can, you know, enter into this. Okay, um, what else for the collective? Wow, the Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. The star with the eight of cups ooh, and the three of swords with the four of wands. So, sorry if this is triggering, but some of you guys could have abandonment issues because you have the eight of cups, okay? Um, so basically this person is going to heal abandonment issues in you, okay? That could be from like absent parents or you know, emotionally unavailable parents or people leaving you in the past. It often starts in childhood though. See with the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, you're also about to become very busy. There's like a lot of money coming in for you and you're about to become very busy. Like this could be multiple projects. You know, you might do your day job and then have a side hustle at night, for example, or, you know, maybe you own your own business, but you're kind of diversifying a little bit because just as I'm saying that, you have the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So there's something here to do with your job or your business about branching out a little bit, like pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, being bold. Um, and the Page of Pentacles is like doing new stuff. So yeah, you know, like I said, diversifying, retraining, something like that that you're going to be doing. But it's going to make you a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles is a lot of money. You know, like a lot of clients coming in or signing a big job contract. And you have the Four of Swords, um, sorry, the Four of Wands with the Three of Swords. So there could have been a heartbreak in your past that you had to heal where someone walked away. And I'm sorry to bring this up, but some of you could have had an absent father um, that 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 wound is, is is being healed and it will be healed within this connection okay whether you're a male or a female um, because this is like very stable the four of wands is something very stable so if you've never had that before it's sort of going to give you the chance to heal um, or that's being healed before this person comes in like you might be doing it now Clarify the chariot. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> um, clarify the chariot. The wheel of fortune. You know, the chariot, I don't want to freak you out, but um, the chariot talks about speed. And then when you have the wheel of fortune, that also talks about divine timing. So this could be something that actually comes in kind of fast. Um, tell me about this three of pentacles. The devil. Some of you guys, <laughs> okay, don't shoot the messenger, but some of you guys may have a tendency to hold back, okay? You have the Four of Pentacles here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil, so uh, yeah, like the Queen of Pentacles, you know, you may have always done a lot on your own, you know? So the Three of, Pe um, the three of Pentacles talks about 
you know, learning to work with other people, right? Learning to, you know, give and exchange help kind of thing. And for some reason that's tied to this connection. So there's something here about like releasing, you know, this desire to do everything by yourself or to keep everything to yourself. Um, and there's also something here that's interesting because I, yeah, this came out in a different reading. Um, if you're at all inclined, you should check out the Scorpio reading, okay? But, um, yeah, there's something here with this Queen of Pentacles, the Devil and the Four of Pentacles, you know, whether you're a male or a female. Like, the Four of Pentacles talks about a lack mindset. So this is something that I think you're overcoming. Like, you may have your own business, again, with the Queen of Pentacles, but there's certainly something, this is your money. Like it doesn't come from someone giving you money. It's like something that you've built yourself. And I feel like it was maybe part of your journey or part of your path to overcome this lack mindset because that's what's happening. So you're about to be very happy because there's uh, like a lot of stability coming in for you financially because you've broken this this thing, this like curse, <laughs> you know, because it could be, you know, you might have inherited it through your family. Usually that's what happens. Because um, with the Six of Swords, you're moving away from that, okay? So, yeah, um, let's see. Is there anything you want to tell us about this chariot? The fool. Okay, so there's there's some kind of really, yeah. You have the emperor and the eight of wands here, so some kind of communication from this person coming in here. Um, yeah, there's a new beginning coming in with this person. It looks like it might move quite fast. Or certainly, like, I don't really see any roadblocks is the thing. It just looks very successful. It might just be a little surprising for you. <laughs> like that you found someone nice, basically. Because she's looking very confused about the flowers here. You know, whether you're like a guy or a woman, you know, she's looking at the flowers and she's like, what is this? <laughs> like, what, what is this? Do they explode? Is it, what, what, why have you given me this? Um, okay, let's get some advice for the collective to close the reading. You're doing really well, okay? So you might not feel like you're doing well, but you are doing well, okay? Um, I think you're doing much better with your finances than you think you are, or uh, there's, yeah. You're just, you're just doing really well, okay? Oh, finding the love of your life. So this new person coming in is like the love of your life. Um, you also have stop worrying and overthinking here. So that's, I think, there's just worrying and overthinking going on because you've had so, you know, like a lot of bad experiences in the past or one particular bad experience in the past. Healing the mother wound. Ooh, okay. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Um... go <laughs> and you have new love as well so just in case you were wondering this is definitely someone new coming in here uh, what other advice do you have for the collective abundance yeah you're definitely about to hit the big time with your money seriously you're about to do really really well it could be something to do with you stepping into more of the spotlight or something because you have to star um, you know, which obviously talks about being a star, so, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like, you know, like a movie star, <laughs> but like a star at your work, you know, getting a promotion, getting the clients, business taking off, your book being published. Uh, any other advice for the collective? 
becoming noticed for your work. Ooh la la, yeah. I just put that on top of the star. So something that you're about to do, that's why the money's coming in because people are starting to notice you and you also have your inspiration to a lot of people here. Okay. This might not be for all of you, but for some of you, you may have walked away from things or walked away from something that people know about. People know that you've done this or you're going to tell people that you've done this. That could be part of um, you being recognized, like some something that you're doing. Okay. Get one more. Because I have no self-control. <laughs> No, Spirit says no. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, Collective. I hope it was a useful message. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And as always, I wish you many blessings, uh, love and light. Take care.